goodness. Um, my name is Lindy Wade Canal, and um, I'm the president of Lewiston Avenue Merchants Association for 20 years. Um, I've also um, been the CEO of Expression in Ceramics for 20, 20, about the same time. I just thought of it last night that um, somebody shared something with me. And being that it's um, Dr. King's birthday celebration, um, it got me thinking. Um, the quote was, forgive me if I don't get it right, um, faith is the taking the steps even though you haven't seen the whole staircase. Mm -hmm. And I want to talk about that um, because I thought of it last night and I thought of the kind of faith that um, started in my life story. Um, I grew up in Trinidad. I came to this country at 16 years old. And a lot has transpired that faith brought me through all of this. Uh, I had a chance to um, be with my father in the last two, three weeks. I also had a chance to be with uh, the nuns who practically raised me. It was 75, they were celebrating the 75th year of the uh, Mission of Holy Faith, because um, I attended Holy Faith Convent. Mm -hmm. And I thought of the nuns um, who, who practically raised us, they came to Trinidad, and um, they didn't have a clue what they were coming to. But they came, faith brought them there. And over the last 75 years, so many young women have gone through um, under their care. And um, I thought of my father, who turned 95 last week. And um, faith, again, they, my parents were always involved in community. And they, would have, they didn't see the staircase. Everybody asked, why are you so involved in community? And I thought of it again, and I said, wait a minute. They didn't see the staircase. But they started the steps. And so when I came to this country, uh, my father bought a home in Nostra Avenue. And um, so in 1971, we moved to Nostra Avenue. And because of my black nationalism, I've been always, there's a, in the Kwanzaa principles, there's a principle called Kuma. And it's about leaving your community better than you inherited it. And it has always been my mantra. So Nostrand Avenue, at that point, I was 16 years old. But that was the step to the staircase. I became, I retired because my father's uh, fiscally conservative, I'll put it that way. Um, he wasn't about to send us to pay for us to go to college. So we got here and they signed me in to work with the phone company. It wasn't the first, the best experience because I had had a scholarship to Howard University, but he wasn't going to pay the boarding and lodging. So I started with the phone company. And it so happened that, again, that faith, someone asked me to be on a, um, a panel. No, it's an African-American focus group called Granville T. Woods Association, which had to do with a telecommunications person that they were honoring. However, 9X at the time um, supported that organization financially. But they gave us a chance to go to the Black Caucus Conventions, Congressional Conventions. And um, my experience there allowed me to see the political side of things and the community awareness that started the steps to the staircase. And so when I got to back home and I retired very early, 
I decided I was going to fight for this community so I can leave it better than I inherited it. Mm -hmm. And I, there, some people don't know the history, and I would say it right now because there's one thing that stood with me. Uh, somewhere in 2010, there was um, an altercation between the gangs. Uh, the Red the Bloods were two blocks away from me. The, um, Crips were over at Emmettsville, mm -hmm. and every two days there were people coming to me to say, I'm leaving my house, I can't live here anymore. And I said, just hang in there, we'll get this done. And we had several meetings with NYPD and what have you, and their response was, we can't get people out here, we don't have the resources. So fast forward a little bit, and um, uh, our elected officials stepped up. I remembered Eric, uh, no, Mayor Eric Adams. I remember going to his office because his office was called the People's House. And he would always say to me, come in here, do, you know, seven? That's one minute. Well, okay. <laughs> and um, I want to say that that collaboration with Mayor Eric Adams, Jesse Hamilton, who was the district leader at the time, and um, Kareem Kamara, they stopped the violence. There was a time when people did not walk on that side of the street. Yeah. And if you see now the people who are here, we prepared it by taking the steps and not seeing the staircase. Yeah. <laughs> trying to do is capture the energy of the sun. Did we see some power here? Woo! Thank you so much. She's so powerful, she's going to pick our next one. Thank you so much.